Well, good afternoon. Here we are again, December the 15th. Tile 199, my goodness me. And you know, I think I really need to sit down today and a little bit of uh, a little bit of me time. I've uh, been doing quite a lot of work. We're all very busy here, which is lovely. We wouldn't be busy if it wasn't for all you guys. But um, yeah, I think it's just, last, last half an hour it's just got to me, you know, and we just need a break and a sit down, so. All right, here we go, tile number 199. What do I have with me? I've got a yellow tile, sort of a pale, pale lemon. And I've, I've inked it ever so slightly. I know you might not even see it because the sun's sort of on it, but it's a very, very sort of light shimmer of rainbow colors. And um, I'm gonna go straight in with pen and pencil as usual. And I do have my pastels with me. I do apologize that uh, you see the sun has seriously come out this afternoon, so. I'll try and sort of keep in with the, so you can see what I'm doing. So, all right, are we ready for this? Whew, deep breath, we've all got this. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I, um, I'm gonna put a, a tiny tile. I'm not gonna put it in the middle. I'm just gonna use it to help me draw some sort of uh, shapes or some construction lines. Oh, there we go. And you can see that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it to sort of a diamond shape there and very lightly very lightly i'm just going to draw is that sort of the middle there we go. i'm just going to draw around the outer edge okay straight down and along. oh hello everybody it's lovely to sort of meet with friends isn't it it's really nice okay so we've got that one in place and I'm going to bring in the tile again, just to, again, just to help me. And I'm going to create a little border inside that one. Again, very lightly, because we don't need to, we don't need all of this sort of section of the line when we're finished. And that one, and this one up here. Okay, so we've got that shape. So far, so good. Of course, if you don't have a little tile, it's not a problem. Then just draw one or use a, any sort of straight edge you've got. It'd be absolutely fine. Okay, this time I'm going to put my tile over the top, like so. And then again, this time instead of drawing the whole line, I'm going to go from here and I'm going to draw around there. See, so it's gone over that one and then just to there. And then the same again, see, I'm going over. This bit confusing, it's not a problem. Just, uh, see, just to that one. Because we'll rub the lines out after. Over. And then just to there. And over. And just to there. So we see we've got that kind of a shape. So see where that one went over? And that one's gone under. That one's gone over. So again, if I bring my little tile in, so you see this one went over, so I'm going to do the same there. I'm going to go over, over that one, you see, under that one, and then over that one, and under this one. I'm just going to sort of stop it there and then over and then under, over, under. You see, we've got sort of a, a little bit of an interlocking. So let's just draw that over in pen. I'm going to do it freehand just so you can see where I'm going with it. So let's start with this square here. I went over this one. And then I'm going to do the same there. And then I've gone underneath this one. So I'm going to stop there and then start again. Go over that one. I turn it round. You see this one that I'm going underneath that one. And then over the top of this one. Turn it around again. So this one, see how it goes 
underneath there and over the top there. And again, so I'm just going to finish that one so it goes there to there. Okay, so then this one I'm going to see, take it to there, ignore that little bit and bring it out over there. Same with this one. Ignore that line and take it over that one. And then underneath this one and then back over this one. Okay, turning it round and again underneath this one and back over this one. Turn it round and just finish that off there to there and along there and along there. So if I just come in now with my uh, rubber, I'm just going to rub out those little lines that I've got there just so it's sort of like discards them. We don't need them. See how we've got a couple of those tiny tile shapes now sort of all worked into each other. There we go. Okay. Like that. So I'm going to bring a border around the outside as well. So those of you that like your grids and borders and things, it's uh, quite a nice one to do. So you can use the sort of the tiny tile to give you a hand here if you want. So you see, we've just got little bits poking out there. So I'm going to obviously stop when I get to that bit. Round when I get to this bit. Let's stop. And same this side. Oh, Joanne, have you been sneaking and looking? <laughs> oh, my word. I thought they were going to be a surprise. <laughs> oh, no, they are. They're lovely. We've had such fun working with them. And they're a bit bigger than the tiles, so it means you can make your cards with them and things. <laughs> there we go. Okay, bit of a border there. So let's have a look then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in the middle, I think. So I'm gonna start, this is gonna be my, the bottom, I think. I'm gonna work up this way. And I'm gonna keep it quite simple today. I'm just gonna bring it out, put a little loop on the end. See? <laughs> I know Sandra, it's funny. <laughs> I do try and keep some secrets. But <laughs> my husband says I'm very trying. I don't know what that means. I'm just going to put a little leaf shape on there and then a little line. Um, another little line. Now don't forget that uh, it's a pick of the day on the 17th so the price will drop on the day. Just be aware. Okay. And then I'm going to do one this side. There we go. A little droplet on the end. And then I'm going to bring in a leaf there. And then another one. Oh, I know, Sandra. It's supposed to be a surprise. There won't be any left. Okay. Doing that one there. I'm going to put one in there as well. I think here we've got a bit of a space. I'm going to bring another one just sort of in there. And then, of course, a little leaf. And then another one. And I'm going to get another one in there as well. Okay. Quite sweet, isn't it? Let's do another. It's going to come up and round, drop in there. Okay, and I'm just going to move my camera up a little bit. the center around and another little droplet shape so one in there and 
them in. So I'm getting about three, you know. Might put an extra one in if it's quite a long line. So it might be. I can put another one. I'm going to put another one of those drop butts there. But maybe just a leaf there. So let's bring one in up here. And then again, just drawing these little shapes. There we go. Alright, so I think uh, I'm going to bring another one out here. It might be depending on your tile, if you've got space, that you can add a couple of these in. There we are. They look like little sort of drop butts, don't they? Let's just add a little dot. Two dots. You see that? Little dot. Smaller dot. Just on that bottom edge of each one of those. isn't it? It's a very simple one but it's, uh, it's I'm going to put some words on in a minute. I think the words are going to be a little bit more important than maybe the uh, letters there. But okay, let's let's go from this corner and I'm just going to bring one of those in, a little bobble on the bottom there and along there and on the bottom there. And then just as before, let's bring in couple of those little leaf shapes and then again three on this side you can have four or five or three or two or however many you want it's fine it's whatever you want to put in a bit of a mirror image there see and then I think I'm just going to put a little loop on the bottom there it has, yeah, a little bit William Morris, maybe. It's, uh, could be, couldn't it? There we go. It's quite nice, isn't it? And then again, just going to bring one out from there. If you've got the space, of course. Let's do another there. A little bit of a vine. So again, I'm going to turn this round. And again, just bring in that little loop in. And then just sort of adding a few of those leaves to it. Alright, let's turn around and do the next one. So, as before, I did a little line, bobble on the end going one way, and a little line, bobble on the end going the other. And let's put, I'll put three leaves to start with. And there's my third. And here we go. Another one. Another. And another. <laughs> nice little shape, isn't it? I'm going to put my little bubbles there as well. And of course, I put a couple of leaves in there. And here, I think I'm going to go back in and put another curve that way. And a few leaves. I'm not trying to replicate the other corner. I know that there's about three leaves on there, but I'm not trying to get the shapes exactly the same. Just work with the space that you've got. Whatever, uh, whatever will work. So I'm going to put one there. Okay. So, so far, two lovely little borders there. Let's bring this one in. So from there I'm going to work upwards and a little bobble. Same this side, a little bobble. And then again just sort of three leaves. There we go. Same on this side. Again, it doesn't matter if they don't match and if they're a little bit different to the last one. You're just after something that's general. It doesn't matter. And then again, I did a little 
bubble there as well. Okay, then a bubble there. And then, of course, another one here, bubble on the end. Just sort of taking my time. And the same this side. Round and again into there. Okay. Alright. So moving around to the next corner. And then there. Again, just sort of bringing that in. A little bobble on the end. Same on this side. And again. And then through these leaves. I know this time of year there's a lot, a lot of happiness going on. People are looking forward to seeing family and friends again. But um, so notice that you know there's a lot of you know, there can be negativity and unhappiness going on. Just, you know, things are not perhaps going the right way for everybody. We all have these times. It always seems worse, doesn't it, at Christmas when you're expected to be happy and all the rest of it. And as we know, we've we've got a few more restrictions in, and it's all getting a bit crazy, isn't it? But we are a resilient species, and we'll get through it, I'm sure. But I wanted to sort of keep this tile a little bit simple today, just sort of in in light of the fact that. Um, you know, we want to just sort of take take a breath for a moment and not focus so much on all that negativity and all the, the hassle that's going on and the media. I just, just want you to have a breath and just chill for a minute. So I thought long and hard about this tile and, and you know, what we could do on it. And you can see that it's kept it very simple. But what I actually want to do is I'm going to choose, doesn't matter which one, I'm going to choose perhaps this one. I'm going to put a few words in here. So you can you can do this, you can put whatever you want in. So I'm not going to worry about, uh, I'm going to learn whether it ma matches or meets or not. So you can learn from, here we go, yesterday. Okay. Learn from yesterday. I'm going to turn it around. We've got live. I'm just going to get that. Or today. Okay. And I'm going to turn it around here. I'm going to put. I'm going to put hope in there. Hope's the word. So there we go. So that's going to be M O R R O W. So you can see that in there. Then even, even these little uh, areas, let's just have a little bit of a design in that. And again, I'm going to put another little dot and a swirl. See, just sort of around those edges. So sometimes you say we just need to stop and think just for a minute, okay, and uh, not try and you know take everything on board at once and just sort of go in a, you know small steps, a couple of little dots, and then maybe join a few. There we are, and sort of the same. Bring a few in. So of course you don't have to put those words in. You can put any you like in. Or you can leave it. Tangle in it and do a different pattern if you want. Whatever works for you. I just thought to, it'd be kind of nice just to reflect on that just for a minute. So you know the uh, space I've got left with that other shape. I'm going to just add some little dots in there 
So let's have a look. Let's have a look. There we are, see? I mean, that could be your favourite verse, favourite poem and things like that. I know we've done a, a James Blunt song before, haven't we? So whatever works for you, whatever you want to put in. So, okay, I'm going to come in now with my uh, regular pencil. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a little bit of shadow. So you see where this one's got underneath? I'm just going to add some there. I'm going in quite heavy. And the same here. But you can build it if you want to. And then this side, same again. I'm just going to... There we go. I'm turning it round. Sort of same here. And here. And again, same here, and here. Okay, I'm not going to do that one just for now. And I'm just going to bring my torty on in and just sort of soften that one up there. You see, it's going to go around the corner, but that's fine. It's just less pressure as you go around. And sort of same here. You see, it's not quite joining up. We want a little bit of that light on that little section there. And just sort of around that corner. Same here. And of course around this one. And along here. And then like this one. There we go. It looks a little bit green on screen, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's definitely yellow. A little hints of pink here. But it doesn't matter. You can use any colour you like. There we go. So we've got that going on. I'm going to bring my pencil back in now. And I'm just going to go over the uh, shapes there, but just on the inside of that one with the pencil and along there and that one and then again just sort of along there okay it's nice that like that and I'm going to do the same on the outside just sort of stopping and starting where it overlaps some in there. Don't forget the corners. And again, just going to come in with my pencil, oh, my, sorry, my pencil, my torti on, and I'm just going to soften the edge of that pencil there. See, going over what's underneath there. That's trying to keep it in line there. Same with this one. You know, if you go over a little bit and you need to, you can come back in with a little rubber and rub some of that shadow out. Well, you see there where it's where the just see it's gone over a little bit. There we are. No big deal. Oh, a little bit of that look. And then of course, same thing on these sides. <laughs> Same with this one. And that one. And of course, just same with this one. And of course, just sort of taking that edge out there. That's how it looks so far. Oh, do you know? We've got gnomes all up the tree. Dobby's in the tree as well. Dobby's in the tree. We're going to have to sort him. It's like having a cat. I know. My goodness me. There we go. No wonder I need calming down. Okay. So that's sort of our first little section. I think whilst I've got the pencil, I'm going to sort of come on the outside edge of this. If you think we're a bit crazy and you don't know what we're talking about, you've not seen our videos of Dobby. We do own a Dobby in this place. <laughs> He's been a little bit calm. He's had a lot of friends over recently. But uh, because obviously the Christmas tree's up, he thinks it's fun to go and play in it. Alright, I'm just going to soften the edges there. Just 
pencils here but again you can stick with regular pencil you can do uh, normal pencils you can watercolor if you like and I'm gonna choice of color I do have a yellow tile so I think I might go with a little bit of uh, magenta and orange that kind of thing so I'm just gonna bring in a little bit on the edges here you see just where we we did with the last one but I'm just gonna go on the inside there I don't want to overdo this, but we need a little bit in. There we are. And of course, just a little bit on that edge there. Okay. And then I think, um, bring my orange in. And I'm just going to add a touch on those leaves. I know leaves are usually green, but I feel like I want mine to be orange. Just that kind of time of year, so just a little bit. My tree. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the same sort of along here. You know, I think colour always brightens it up, doesn't it? It makes you feel better. So if you've got a colour that makes you smile, then I suggest you use that one. You know, I know we've talked about you know things going on at the moment but you know find something positive we're all here we've got a lovely community the fact we're still doing the tiles i think that's an achievement in itself you know we've all had something haven't we? even if you've not done all the tiles maybe if you look back at the ones you have done and think do you know what i i did that i've achieved that and of course if you're doing the little advent tiles and you're keeping up with that, then that's that's a brilliant achievement as well, isn't it? So you know, don't despair out there. Come on. Here we go. I'm just going to clean up my torch on, you see, just with a nail file. Just do it out of screen because I don't want all the, the bits over my tile. Because I don't want the graphite over my colours there. Not well. I can help it anyway. Okay, there you go. See now? All nice and clean. So I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with the orange actually. I'm just going to soften them up a little bit. Because I know that when I get to that little magenta colour, it's, it's going to mix with a little bit of graphite. So let's just get in a, a little bit of colour. There we are. So breaking along. There we go. Oh, Bernadette, you just catch, catch up with tiles as and when, or just pick the ones you want to do. There are so many. Yeah, I think it's it's good that we've kept up. It's been consistent, hasn't it? So no matter what, it's been here. And I think that's been really important. It does to me anyway, to know that you know, we meet on these particular days. You know, if you don't speak to other people in the week, at least you, you can get on and you can message somebody here and uh, let them know. There we go. And of course, the tile swaps. That's something we, we never we didn't know how that was going to work, but you know, that's sort of a, it's been a really nice thing to do, hasn't it? Just giving your time to somebody else just for a little bit. So if you've done all of those, well done. There we go. So I'm just softening off. So I'm just sort of brushing it along. And then again. I'm going to come in now with, uh, I'm, going to bring, I'm going to bring a white in. And I'm just going to go around the inside of the, this one. So I'm going across everything. Just as I did with the last one, but I used to put a regular pencil with the last one. 
Just done on there, just gives it a little bit of highlight, I suppose, and then maybe just a touch in all the bits that we can sort of see this still got no graphite on, just like this one. Okay, let's just do a, do a bit of a blow with that. Just want to get rid of some of those bits. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to, if I can, with my pencils, pencils sharp enough, I'm just going to add a touch of that white on the ends of some of them. Just to add a little bit of a highlight in there, but only if you can, only if you can get in there. So I'm actually going to leave it at that today. I think the only thing I want to do now is sign it off. I could go back in, maybe you can just go over the, uh, you know, the connection lines. But only if you want to, just to sort of emphasise the fact that they. That's it. I like that. I like. I'm glad I did that now. You know, they're just sort of crisscrossing over and under. Just going to do the overs. There we are. Same on this one. I say, I think the words today are, are one that were really worth doing. There we go. All right. Now, of course, you know that for some reason um, I'm on Create and Craft on Friday. It is my third anniversary or birthday with them, whichever way you want to look at it. But as we know, the signal at Create and Craft is not the best for doing a tile. So what I propose to do is I'm going to do tile 200. Yes, 200, goodness me, tomorrow. And I'm probably going to go uh, about half past six. So tomorrow's tile, I'm going to write that down. Tomorrow's tile... I'm going to do at 6.30 in the evening. So that will mean that uh, we get number 200 done before the birthday show. And then at least we know that uh, you're going to be able to see it because I say the, the internet's not so good. And of course, our tile number 17, which is for our advent, I'm going to attempt to do that at Creating Craft. Once I log on, I can get normally 10, 15 minutes out of it. So I shall still do the... The advent tiles every day it's just that to friday's tile which is normally at two o'clock i'm not going to be able to do so it'll be half past six tomorrow evening and of course if you want to wait and you want to leave it until friday afternoon you can always go back and look at it then uh, if not it's, it's not a problem it'll be there for when you need it so i hope you've enjoyed today's tile so i know it's been a little bit shorter than um, our regular <laughs> Our regular tiles but I think it's just nice to have a moment and, and just keep it a little bit simple and focus more on the message so uh, okay have a lovely afternoon everybody that shouldn't take you too long to finish and uh, I will speak to you again tomorrow all right you take care I'll see you soon bye